Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about long distance tips. I've been in a long distance relationship for a little, bo little bit over a year and um, as a student, it's hard with COVID, it's harder. And I know that a lot of people are experiencing a long distance relationship, whether they intended to or not, because of the things that are going on in the world. So first, write your girlfriend or boyfriend letters. It's always nice to write a handwritten letter to your girlfriend or boyfriend, telling them about what you did over the uh, day that when, when they were sleeping. For me, the time difference is really big. My boyfriend lives in Los Angeles. Um, and there's a lot of the day that I spend without him, especially my afternoon. So I talk about what I did, um, who I met, uh, what stressed me out, what made me happy. Sometimes um, I sleep early and I won't be able to meet him in his morning. I won't be able to call him. So I would tell him, have a good day. I really miss you. And sometimes I would like um, put like a little picture um, uh, that we took back when we were actually meeting in person and remind him of like good times. You can do this like on paper and then paste like a picture if you can. But for me, I have an iPad. So I just write my letters on Notability and I paste like pictures and I send it to him. Second tip, establish things that you can do together. Um, for me, it's watching movies with my boyfriend. We're both really, really big movie fans. We love horror movies. And I think horror movies, I know that some people don't like them, are, but they're a really good way to bond because you have like so much reaction as you watch the movies. And, like, it's like the same thing when people watch reaction videos on YouTube, you can actually watch your boyfriend or girlfriend's reaction. And I think that's, that's much better than just watching movies separately. Third, communicate. I think it's the most important thing in a long distance relationship and it's communicating. Talk about how you're feeling, talk about what you're thinking. Um, open up and allow that person to open up. I think it's important to open up, but I think it's also important not to demand the person to talk about everything in their life. Um, it's important to establish that kind of trust and you know, just talk about it more. For me, something that I think is important to talk about is cultural differences. I'm Korean, my boyfriend's American. We ha we do have cultural differences, um, especially surrounding, for example, anniversaries. I like anniversaries. I like giving gifts on the 100th, 200th, 300th day, and it's a very Korean thing. Um, my boyfriend doesn't really care, but I think anniversaries are something that's really sweet. It, it reminds the person that the relationship has gotten far, and and it gives an opportunity to appreciate that person and think about the person through gifts or just events or whatever. And I think it's really important to communicate your uh, feelings towards things like this. Fourth, establish boundaries. So because we have a time difference, uh, there's a very limited time to call each other and there will be days that I'm busy and there will be days that my boyfriend is busy and the busier person always feels pressured to squeeze the other person into the schedule and the other person who's less busy has feels like they have to wait for the other person all the time and something that's um, a relationship like this where someone feels really pressured and the other feels kind of ignored is really bad and I think it's important to establish boundaries um, tell them when you're busy and tell them that they tell your significant other that you will not be able to contact them or you will be able to contact them at a certain time and you always have to ask are you okay with that and I know that lots of people are not very good at saying no but I think it's really important to communicate and establish these kinds of boundaries. I think it's really important to create like common interests or special things. I, I don't know how to exp express this, but there's like special words that I use with my boyfriend. We made up words, like anything that's good, we call it nummy. Um, uh, we have like special gesture. We also love Lord of the Rings. We love Star Wars, anything related to that, any like, goods or books or movies or a TV series that comes along with Lord of the Rings or um, Star Wars. It just makes us so happy and we get excited. Um, and I think it's really important to establish something like that. My boyfriend and I, we both loved Lord of the Rings. So that was already kind of established. But Star Wars, I was not a Star Wars fan. I was always interested, but I never brought myself to like look at all the movies. But spending time with my boyfriend, I watched all of the Star Wars movies and I became a fan. And we went to Disneyland and we had a really good time. And I love Baby Yoda.
I think it's really important to grow together. Maybe it's because I'm a student. No, I think it applies to everybody. When you feel like you're stuck in a relationship, when your life relies on the relationship, I think that's really bad. It, especially if it's stressful, like it is now with COVID. Um, I'm doing my own things. I'm preparing to go to grad school. I'm preparing to do all these other things. My boyfriend's doing the same thing. He's studying, go, proceeding on with his career. Um, and we were both dreaming and we were both running toward our dreams. We have our separate things that we do and we encourage each other and we're growing together. The eighth thing, um, save together. I think this is really, really sweet. Um, we promised that we will save $150 every month so that we could just literally splurge on things when we meet. And I think that's a really nice way to remind yourself every month when you're saving up that it's the time that you'll meet your boyfriend or girlfriend is going to be real and it's going to be great. I think it's really important to save up because I would be pissed if money was the reason we can't see each other. Also, because we're students, like how much money could we possibly make? Um, I try to find scholarships um, to pay for my tuition, tuition fee. My boyfriend tries to look for scholarships to come to Korea. And there are lots of scholarship programs. And I think it's really important to do the research and try to get lots of money. <laughs> Next, buy a couple items. I think it's a really good way to stay connected. I have a sweatshirt, my boyfriend has a sweatshirt, we look the same and we wear it, and when we're wearing them together, um, we feel really connected. Next, this is so important. Know what's going on in your boyfriend or girlfriend's life, in their home. What are, what are some of the fights that are happening in their home? Or what's the political or environmental um, changes that are happening around their neighborhood? I think that it's very important to feel um like you know a lot about that person so that when they talk about it you're not like I, I don't know what you're talking about it's i think it's really important to have that flow of communication and that requires some sort of research next of course set plans to meet up a long distance relationship can not be maintained if you do not set up plans to meet up um without plans your relationship is just very very virtual and I don't know, that might work out for a lot of people. For me, no. Lastly, keep a bucket list. Um, I think it's really nice to think about the things, the dates that you'll be having when you actually meet up. Um, and I keep a very long, specific bucket list of the cafes that I want to go to, the bike rides that I want to have, the hikes that I want to have, all these other types of uh, environment that, uh, activities that I want to be doing with him, foods, restaurants, anything like that. I think it's really nice to have a long list of bu um, things that you want to do and check them off as you proceed in your relationship. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope my tips have given you a little bit of insight and little tips to maintain your relationship and i hope you are all very 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 safe and i hope to see you in my next video bye i forgot to say this every single time but uh thank you for watching me please subscribe press like and i'll see you in my next video i love this lemon filter